So I want to first talk about obviously when Brooklyn Nine Nine got canceled last year and the outpouring of love from the fandom, and it was just an incredible thing to see, like on Twitter. Um, and then it got picked up like yeah. shortly after. Can you talk about that experience? How you were feeling in that moment? And I think I felt every emotion you could feel <laughs> in that like 24 to 30 hours, however long it was. Um, and I think that we all felt, we went from feeling incredibly sad about the show being over abruptly uh, to being like blown away and really grateful that so many people were enraged <laughs> on our behalf. And we didn't know that many people watched and loved the show that much. Um, we just kind of felt like we were always sort of trucking along and we had our fans. And, but you know, we just always felt like a little bit of a bubble show and then that happened and we were like, well wait, maybe we're not a bubble show and we are there's a lot of people talking about our show tonight. Um, so the whole thing and then NBC coming swooping in the next day and um, and finding out that we get to do more um, and, and be on NBC, which is you know its own has its own comedy legacy, um, was amazing. It's kind of one of those two days I'll never forget. <laughs> and then Amy's such a quirky character, but she embraces herself for who she is, which is amazing. So is there something that you relate to Amy that really resonates within you that you see yourself doing on a daily basis? I mean, there's, a, there's definitely things that Amy and I have in common. Uh, we both like to be organized. I think everybody sort of saw my Amy, Amy miss the most when I directed because it just was a lot of lists and colored tabs and a binder. And, um, so we have some of those things in common, but she is, I think Amy is, I think Amy is braver than me. I think she's a lot smarter than me. Um, I love that she is unabashedly herself and doesn't apologize for her quirkiness or her weirdness or, you know, any of her idealisms, um, which to me, I'm just honored that I get to put a character like that out into the world because hopefully it's just nice to see someone that doesn't apologize for who they are mm -hmm. um, and just is. And then going back to your directing, what was that like stepping behind the camera as opposed to being on the camera and then also acting within that? What was that? Was it different? Acting and directing is not my thing. It's super hard. <laughs> Um, I was very lucky that one of our writers, Phil Augusta Jackson, who had also directed during the season, um, was the writer of that episode and kind of had my back for the scenes I had to act in. Um, but I loved everything else where I just had to direct was amazing. It was a great test to see how much I actually knew. Um, and it also was uh, just fun to watch my castmates take after take because I think they're one of the best casts on television and you know how good they are but then you watch them on a monitor and you're like oh, they're so good do you plan on doing more next season um i hope so next season we're doing only 13 so it might be a little tight and tricky to do next season um but hopefully on other shows it's definitely something i'm going to keep trying to learn about um and explore and pursue um so we'll see and then looking forward to next season, what do you hope Amy, especially Amy and Jake's relationship, what do you guys hope to see in that season play out? I think there's still a lot to mine from their marriage. Um, I think dealing with each other's families as a married couple is really fun and funny and there's more to do there. I think that their perspective career tracks are also another thing that we could explore um, and have fun with. Um, because Amy's so ambitious and Jake is not particularly ambitious in the same sense. Um, yeah, I think I think it's actually, there's been more fun relationship stuff since they got married. And um, so there's a little more freedom to explore mm -hmm. stuff. And we're definitely looking forward to that.